eSIM is going to be the future of phone technology. So yeah, that one phone manufacturer started removing SIM card trays from their phones. We can expect more phones to eventually copy that move. It's gonna be really painful for tech reviewers, but something tells me you don't swap your phones as often as I do. We really need to find good services to replace the ease of use we had with the SIM card, especially while traveling internationally. Air Allo is sponsoring this conversation to chat about eSIM and ways we can take some of the anxiety out of staying connected while we're on the go. I'm American, and this is one of the biggest pain points I hear about from my family when we travel, fighting with their cell phone carrier to add international support to their plans. Now, some carriers do this better than others, but it's one of those use cases where most folks probably won't switch carriers just for better international support. Eralo aims to make this process way easier and allows you to plan ahead. For myself, covering trade shows internationally, I've used a bunch of different methods to keep up with calls and data. You often can't count on hotel or Airbnb Wi-Fi. I mean, once in Barcelona, an Airbnb advertised high speed but it was less than a one megabit per second upload, which if you make videos for YouTube is insufficient. We had to use my phone data instead just to get our work done and uploaded, and that was pretty pricey. There's a rich tradition of travel where you land in a new place and you buy a local SIM card there, you pop it into your phone and you're connected locally. Often just a little kiosk or a vending machine in the airport can get you up and running. But I've been in some spots where I couldn't find a good option in the airport, and it's a little concerning, that feeling not having data, not having a plan on your phone when you leave the airport wide. Eralo is the world's first eSIM store, trying to replicate some of that functionality of just a simple kiosk. Eralo allows you to purchase eSIMs for over 200 countries and regions around the globe. Your phone, tablet, or computer has to be eSIM capable. If your phone is relatively new, it should have support for eSIM, and by relatively new I mean Pixel 3, Galaxy S20, iPhone XS. Within a three or four year-ish window, you should be good. You can look in your phone settings to see if it has an option to install an eSIM, or you can contact Eralo for further assistance. I'm gonna be showing this off on a brand new OnePlus 11, but that doesn't mean you need a brand new phone to do this. I install the Airalo app from App Store or Google Play and then select where I'm traveling to. Three main categories. We've got local eSIMs, regional eSIMs, and global eSIMs. Say you're traveling to just one country, you're gonna want local. Or if you're gonna be traveling through Europe and you're gonna be crossing several borders, you'll want a regional eSIM. And global is exactly what it sounds like, a SIM that should keep you connected in many more countries and regions. After selecting one of those tiers, we get a list of options for the data packages we might want and the validity period. It's pretty simple stuff, and often we get twice the time for not quite twice the price. Going from one gigabyte of data for a week to two gigabytes for 15 days isn't quite twice the price. And on this SIM service, Eralo can extend that out to 10 gigabytes of data for up to 30 days. And this is where the pricing is really attractive. Adding an international roaming plan to a phone bill can be painful. My folks were just quoted $10 a day on top of their plan's data pricing, just to use the data they were already paying for. Eralo has been comparing well, even against some of the other solutions that I've used from MVNOs. In Canada, 10 gigabytes of data for 35 bucks, is a pretty solid deal. Finishing the whole process of setting up an eSIM, it might look a little different in your phone settings, but the basic steps should be roughly the same. All right, we've just installed the Eralo app here on Google Play. We're gonna take a look at what it's like to really install an eSIM on my phone. Here are the three main options. Global eSIM for more regions around the world. We've got regional eSIMs that we can kind of pick these larger regions around the world, but I'm gonna be using this primarily here in Los Angeles. So not even across the United States. I only need a local eSIM here for the United States. Eralo is offering, let's just take a look here real quick. One gigabyte for seven days, two gigabytes for 15 days, three gigabytes for 30 days, five gig for 30 days. And then we keep increasing our uh, data rates all the way up to 20 gig for up to 30 days of validity. Now I'm using this as a tech reviewer and let's just say I'm revisiting the OnePlus 11. I only need this to, uh, to kind of fire it back up for 
maybe a week, maybe two weeks. So here, let's do this. $8, 15 days, two gigabytes of data. This is really worth it to me. I don't have to use another SIM or fire up anything else or add another line to my plan. Less than 10 bucks, we're gonna buy this right now got coverage in the United States, two gig, 15 days. And then once we've installed this eSIM, we have other top up packages. So let's say I get to the end of my 15 days or I've used up my two gig of data, I can come right back into the app and top up more data as I need it. Our additional information is also gonna let us know where we've got coverage. And then this one is also important too. The validity period starts when the eSIM connects to any supported networks. And this is what's really cool is because you can plan ahead. You can buy and install the eSIM, but then sort of leave it dormant. And then your billing period doesn't start when you buy it. Your billing period starts when you start using it. I just wanna take a quick look here. We do have this additional information screen. This is a data only SIM card. This eSIM is for travelers to the United States. The coverage applies to all 50 states of the United States and Puerto Rico. So yeah, this is looking like exactly what I need to fire up another phone and, and have a second temporary line. So we're gonna buy now. This is uh, US $8. Let's tap on this. And in our secure checkout, this is where we can make some changes if you wanna choose a different payment method, if you wanna add some kind of payment method. I'm gonna tap these by completing, and before completing this order, please confirm your device is eSIM compatible and unlocked. They want you to make sure that this is gonna work on your phone before you give them money. It's kind of a nice uh, business strategy there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit pay. And there you go, thank you for your order. I've got two gigabytes for up to 15 days. It cost me $8. And now I can go into my eSIM details. And I do really like this handy dandy little uh, page here where it shows us a little graph of our data usage, how much we've used, how much we have total, what our package was, just in case you know, you're, you've got a lot going on, you might forget. And immediately we've got some options for top up packages, but we're gonna go into install eSIM and access our data. So important tips, maintain access to a stable internet connection. Do not interrupt the eSIM installation process. Do not remove your eSIM plan and complete all steps carefully. Okay, I got it. Step one, install the eSIM. Note that the eSIM installation process must not be interrupted. Tap install eSIM and wait for a while. Please do not close the app. This may, may take a few minutes. Allow your carrier to download the SIM. We're gonna say yes. All right, it's doing its thing. I see that little icon, it's moving around. There are also manual options where you can literally just copy over the eSIM data. And then you can go into your phone settings if you feel more comfortable doing that. Okay, and here we go. SIM two is on Errolo calling. It's gonna ask me which one to use between the two. Now we can change these settings. So calling always ask, I'm gonna switch my internet over to Errolo. Okay, let's check out our data usage. So, so far nothing because I'm still on my Wi-Fi, but I wanna check network asset access. Errolo is in roaming mode, turn on data roaming for a data connection. So let's open that. That was one of those things that they said we needed to do and we are going to turn on data roaming. And now I think it's time that we uh, take this out into the field. Something tells me this is gonna look pretty much the same. Now this is where I'm gonna pause for just a second and point out that this one is a data only eSIM, which means that calls and SMS text messaging are not supported. You can check this in the additional information on the eSIM product page if the SIM is data only or will support voice and text. There are numerous messaging apps you can use to stay in touch that will only use data. They work great for text style messaging and will include support for voice and video calls. Personally, I DM through multiple social media apps. I have accounts on Signal and Telegram. I can even create a family Discord server if I need to keep folks connected. On this sim, anything that uses data, you're golden. Social media, downloading map data, backing up information to the cloud. I still maintain that phone is now one of the least used apps on our pocket computers. Aralo did help me get set up. We're using an eSIM on this phone right here. My testing has been entirely local. Using the Aralo's eSIM here in the United States, I've been able to count on reasonably good LTE connections in and around Los Angeles. The experience of using one of my other review phones with Aralo was pretty close to the same as using it on my main personal SIM. Most of what I do day to day is data. And recently I reviewed the Surface Pro 9 5G, which is a 5G enabled eSIM capable tablet. Aralo offers a cost effective way to add mobile data directly to a device like a tablet. Instead of adding 
a permanent accessory to a phone plan, it's a little more pay as you go. You fuel it up when you need more data, which is an interesting secondary use of the Air Rollo service that I'm personally going to enjoy. I go through a lot of phones over a year reviewing different devices. If more companies drop the physical SIM card tray, that makes my job more difficult, where I often just pop out a SIM card, slide it into a different phone, and go and I can really use that phone to review it. eSIMs through carriers can take some extra steps. It's not quite as seamless but if I just need to revisit a phone for a week or I'm working a phone for a little while, it's on an embargo, I can get most of what I need through an eSIM service like Aerolo. That's obviously a very specific use case for a reviewer like me, but I think it might apply to some folks out there. Maybe you're just gonna travel across the United States. You wanna hook up your kid's tablet with a little extra data so that they can stream some video or keep up with their friends. You don't need to add a permanent tablet charge to your cell phone plan. There are times you just might need a temporary bucket of data for a companion device. I've only been using it for a couple weeks. Aerolo has already been working its way into my gadget review process. Whenever features on our phones change, there's a transition anxiety. And a lot of folks are going to run into that when SIM card trays disappear. It is handy to have some solutions we can point people to to help take the edge off making that change. Major thanks to Air Rallo for sponsoring this conversation. I have more info linked below in the caption about Air Rallo service. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos and subscribing to the channel. All the support lately has been fantastic. If you are subscribing or catching the links in the descriptions below these videos. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Mastodons and the Flickers, not so much on the Facebooks or the Instagrams, but I will catch you all on the next video.